It's now impossible to miss the name Ruth Asawa School of the Arts displayed near this busy intersection on Portola Drive and O'Shaughnessy Boulevard. Early on in her career as an artist, Asawa pushed for a school in San Francisco that would become a creative force for the arts. It became a reality in 1982, but it wasn't until today that the school unveiled a new marquee with her name. School board member Jill Wins and a handful of art advocates were influential in making this possible. Once in a while, if we are very lucky, we are present as history and justice rhyme. This is one of those moments. Ruth Asawa was born in California, but when she was 16, her life was turned upside down as she and her family were interned along with other Japanese Americans. Those years had a huge impact on her life and her work as an artist. As her reputation grew, so did her drive for art programs in California schools. Well, she learned in, in her education that what, how exciting it was to work with artists, work with professional artists. So she thought, wouldn't that be great if professional artists came and worked in public schools? Actor and writer Peter Coyote attended today's ceremony. Years ago, he served with Asawa on the California Arts Council. Art is what shapes us and teaches us how to use the whole other half of our brain. So our culture is ignoring it and underfunding it in the same way they're underfunding their infrastructure. Asawa did not attend today's ceremony. She is 85 years old. <laughs> Meanwhile, art advocates say there is still a strong desire to build a new school of the arts closer to the Civic Center Arts Corridor. It would, of course, have the Asawa name. In San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.